Yo, what's up guys? It is Campy Elite here. I'm gonna try to sound very happy and hyped right now. We have some confirmation about a new edition, the Prestige Edition, if you will. Hopefully this isn't the Prestige Edition because this is a bit too much for the average consumer. Sorry if you're offended by that. Hopefully this isn't the Zombies Edition. That's why it's called the Juggernaut Edition. Then we have a Prestige Edition maybe with something else for like the normal game. Maybe like a little bionic arm. Uh, funny, haha. <laughs> But uh, here we have a mini fridge, Juggernaut style mini fridge. It stores beverages. It says it can store up to 12 12 ounce cans, which is pretty nice. We have the uh, Perga Cola coaster set with a custom 10, which is, uh, you know, the logos. We have the limited edition uh, concept art cards. We have a season pass. We have the giant bonus map. I'll talk about that in a little bit. We have the collectible still book, which looks pretty nice. If you guys, uh, if I could say so myself, if you guys don't agree, I'm sorry. We have the official Call of Duty Black Ops 3 soundtrack. We have in-game bonus content, Weaponize 115, which is the zombies camo from Black Ops 2. Apparently people want it back. It's in the zombies edition. What do you know? It is returning for Black Ops 3. And this is kind of a uh, strange to me we have the cyborg pack which is according to this a fan favorite i didn't really like it it looked stupid it looked ugly but what do you know it's returning and then we have the black ops 3 pack which is going to have some black ops 3 crap it's going to have some black ops 3 logos and stuff all over it which is going to look pretty nice and uh, that seems pretty interesting so the giant bonus map it says here zombies return and an all and all of its undead glory with the giant a nazi research facility featuring the weapon upgrading pack a punch machine relive the chaos of treyarch's classic dury zombies map picking up the zombie story where dimsey nikolai ricked off in tokyo <laughs> uh with takio where origins left off so okay that was funny because uh you guys know i don't read and uh reading out loud is funny but yeah so this is pretty cool guys if you remember me and my friend long sensation made a video about this like months ago where we talked about how how we think and how it's a very good guess that origins means more to zombies than anybody could ever imagine i've been trying to tell people that since 2012 sorry, excuse me 2013 excuse me and nobody believed me apparently me i know nothing about zombies but some of you people uh, i don't want to say any names they didn't play world at war when it first came out and got to see a little zombies thing pop up and play zombies and be like what is this and very and get very into it you guys don't have that experience you guys don't know okay so you can't tell me anything but yeah i kept trying to explain that to people so it's very nice to have this and i seen a tweet from biblical reaper i'm gonna say it right now biblical reaper is a good guy but i seen a tweet from him and it, it filled me with rage because it seemed he made it seem like he was the one that had that thought he was the only one that had that thought about origins and that pissed me off but that's going to be the end of this video guys check the top of the description for a link to where i'm getting this information from and keep in mind that this is coming from a new zealand website if i am correct i know new zealand and australia are right next to each other but australia for some reason 60 dollar games for us in america cost a hundred dollars so 200 dollars a hundred sixty dollar game i'm not sure what the math and what that is going to be but i'm pretty sure this will be around 100 maybe 200 dollars exactly maybe 190 200 dollars does sound about right though you guys can let me know it has images and stuff of what i talked about thanks for watching guys can't be elite and i'm going camping